What's up Aries? This is going to be a love forecast for the first two weeks of February. This is for my Aries Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like, throw me a comment, share. It does help out my channel. If you're new here, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I also offer personal readings. All the info for that's in the description box of the video. Um, there is a bit of a wait for a reading with me. So if you ever wanted to explore your options, I put a link to Mystic Sense in the description box as well which is a great company that offers you access to lots of brilliant psychics and readers located all over the world. And if you go through the link I've provided, they're gonna give you your first five minute reading free. So check them out if you feel called to do so. And if you wanna follow me on TikTok and Instagram, I have put the links to those in the description box as well. So let's get stuck into it. Aries, I'm gonna do a person on your mind. How do they feel about you? How do you feel about them? And then the projected outcome for the first two weeks of February. Bearing in mind, guys, that outcomes can do and will shift for you depending on your actions, your inactions, your reactions, your assumptions, your energy, your um, self-concept and underlying core beliefs about you and the situation, how you see yourself in relation to um, the circumstances and the person. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, please do go and look into the law of assumption. Um, this is just one timeline and one reading based on what you're manifesting from where you're at, okay? So if anything is showing up that's unfavorable, you absolutely can have it shift and conform, but it starts with you. So please do look into the law. Um, so for now, let's look at um, what is the person on Aries mind? How are they feeling about Aries? As we move into the first two weeks of February, the person on Aries mind, how do they feel about Aries? Okay, there's an eight of swords in the reverse with a five of wands and an ace of swords in the reverse. Tension, Aries, and a lack of clarity, a sense of wanting to break free from something that's imprisoning this person or there's been a lot of this um, going around in the mind. This person's been feeling very trapped in their mind. They want to break free, but there seems to be a tension or some of you are dealing with a situation where there is there are outside energies that are keeping this person very stuck or they feel like that's you. I mean, I will do the cross energies on you. Um, there's a need to kind of maybe come forward and have a conversation or um, speak a truth, but right now it's looking like there's a tension around that, okay? Um, so let me have a look. That six of wands, so <laughs> they want to have success with you or maybe they want your attention. I mean, maybe they feel also like they have to fight for your attention, Aries. And I've got Ace of Cups. So in spite of all of this, Aries, it seems to be that they want to have a new start, Ace of Cups. Like there is love here and they want success in love with you. Um, tell me why there's a five of wands. Three of swords, there's hurt feelings. So there's been some kind of a conflict and there's hurt feelings around that. And for some of you, there's hurt feelings around third party energy. Not all of you um, don't take it if it doesn't resonate, but three of swords can be you know, a third party situation. So for some of you, there's, there's competition here. Um, and maybe you're dealing with a situation where someone is trapped in something, right? And they want success with you, but there's a tension. There could be also lack of honesty in this situation. Now, Again, not all of you, but there has been a tension that's caused maybe separation or heartache, okay? And right now, there's been lack of forward movement, Knight of Pentacles, and I've got Three of Cups and the Eight of Cups. So there is this sense of maybe wanting to leave behind the interfering factor. I mean, maybe Aries, they feel like you've moved on to a third party, <laughs> Okay, and that's where there's been a tension or there's hurt feelings or um, Aries, this person's, you know, wanting success with you and there's a sense of needing to move away from what's caused tension. Okay, now the five of wands here is conflict, drama, outside energies, often three of cups. It could be friends or outside influences. It doesn't have to be romantic. Um, there has been a lot of this stuckness. Um, this person wants to come unstuck. So, uh, I mean, ultimately, Aries, in the overall energy, like there's a wanting of a victory and a renewal, okay? Now, of course, Aries, if you don't want it, you don't want it. I'm going to do your energy. And also, like, if you don't want it, then um, I don't know. Either this isn't the person on your mind or you just, they are on your mind, but you don't want it. You know what I mean? Let me have a look. Nine of Wands. Yeah, there's a guardedness here. 
there's a wound between you and this person, but I've got the lovers card and then there's a seven of wands. So there's been standoffishness, maybe a lot of reactivity um, and, and tension and conflict. On one hand, this person wants to seven of wands persist. There could be some jealousy issues coming up. Seven of wands can be about wanting to defend territory, can be a territorial energy and lovers card can be about choices. If it's not romantic choices, it can just be that sort of energy of not feeling very chosen. Six of Wands is about wanting recognition. So maybe that's mutual Aries. Maybe you clash with this person. I don't know. But the Nine of Wands is, is the wounded warrior. So it also can be a playing out of, you know, um, wounds. So when I talk about the Law of Assumption, guys, like the way that things manifest in your reality is you manifest a version of a person um, and you have also your own underlying assumptions and your own wounds and self-concept issues. So sometimes the outside can manifest in a way that reinforces say a wound so there's something here around not feeling very chosen so maybe this first person there's issues in that department and maybe that causes an energy or a behavior and maybe that also reinforces yours so when you look into the law of assumption guys you can actually um completely recreate a situation um and get past that but you don't need to control their behavior or react to their behavior you need to change your own narrative and your assumptions okay so when you look into the law it'll make sense the lovers card they do feel a very strong um bond with you the lovers card so soul connection and i guess that's why they want to have a renewal of the love but there has been some kind of a, a guardedness or you know someone's got their someone's been very defensive or maybe both of you are very defensive sorry aries i'm not trying to give you shit, but you know um let's see about this three of cups yeah, the moon. So the moon is um, a sense of feeling like everything's not revealed. So this person could be suspicious about you, Aries. Again, I'm not naming names or um, giving anyone shit, or there could be just general fears about third party energy. So again, the moon is our shadow side. And I already pointed out with the, with the nine of wands and the moon that this is where, you know, our shadow self. So maybe there's been jealousy issues. Someone here feels not prioritized, etc. I mean, the moon card is also how we've been nurtured. So, you know, nine of wands and the moon, there could be um, a wounding here around, you know, abandonment or rejection or something like that that's been really exacerbated and caused tension um, and then projected with third party energy thrown in, like friends or romantic for some of you not all of you um it's just fears as well so maybe it's unfounded you know um the moon is though when we feel like there's a sense of secrecy or not everything has been revealed okay and then i've got nine of cups and the star card but this person still has hopes for you and what what you have between the two of you has been quite a lot of fun and pleasure nine of cups um there's a sense of wish fulfillment so that's why I'm saying the overall energy Aries is Ace of Cups, Six of Wands. So there seems to be potential, whoops, potential here for um, success. Or they want success with you. Um, Star card is about healing. So they want to heal what's caused the tension. I mean, Eight of Swords can be negativity, negative mindset. So with that in the reverse, I mean, this person's maybe hoping to get beyond that if there's been reactivity or tension, right? Um, Aquarius energy with a star card, Gemini energy with a lover's card. Um, they want to come unstuck to a swords. And if there has been something around choices or indecision, this is about wanting to like alleviate that or get past that, like heal that, or they're still hanging on to hope that you can move out of that indecision and stagnancy. Okay. I mean, there's been pain, ten of swords. This is a feeling of betrayal. Again, founded or unfounded, it'll be different for each of you. But a ten of swords, if you know, if we feel like we've been triggered in a way, like there's jealousy issues or something, maybe again, that's real and it's founded. Maybe it's not. Um, this is sort of. It looks like there's been a painful cycle or a painful end of some sorts or definitely a tension causing pain but this is a 10 card so it's about getting to the end of that and we have another ace ace of pentacles so they're still seeing potential to renew this and even solidify this i mean two aces on the table and then there's a five of cups there's a lot of loss and regret here around i guess what's what's gone on i will get the oracles um we've got pisces energy with the moon as well guys so um, you know, we've got lovers card, which is soul mates. And then the five of cups and the two, you know, 
The five of cups is where there's a lot of regret and we're focusing on the regret, but there's a two of cups in the back. So there's potential here to move forward. Two of cups is soulmate energy. Um, the other thing is, is again, reinforcing what I said about how, you know, our own insecurities and fears can then be projected into the present. You know, five of cups, this person could be understanding that there has been too much um, crying over spilt milk, like maybe there's past issues again. So that could have been what caused this reactivity or this painful um, ending or triggering between the two of you. So um, yeah, look, it's possible you're not communicating with this person because eight of wands is in the reverse. But like I said, they still want your attention. They want success. So let me have a look at you, Aries, and see what's going on. Um, and then we will get some Oracle cards. So how does Aries feel towards this person as we move through the first two weeks of February? Hanged man. So it's in suspension. And then I just saw three of cups again. So Aries and then Ace of Swords. So Aries and, and Star card. So every time I, I shuffle, I see a cross card. Um, so Aries, you, Ace of Swords, seem to want to speak a truth or get clear with this person. Um, there does seem to be with the Three of Cups something to do with outside energies or, um, again, like I said, fears around that. Maybe you believe this person has someone else or maybe you have someone else, Aries. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not judging. Maybe you both do. I don't know. Let me have a look. Okay, strength card. Lover's card, but in the reverse, Aries. Very interesting. So this person feels like they've got the lover's card in the upright and you've got the lover's card in the reverse with the strength card. So you feel like this has felt a bit one-sided. Um... And the strength card, you know, could be a bit of ego clashing. I'm not giving you shit, Aries. I'm just saying, like, this is... Maybe you feel like this person's been very in their ego. Um, Nine of Swords in the reverse. You want to get past some level of anxiety. It has caused you a lot of stress and anxiety. Um, a magician card in the reverse. That can be unfulfilled potential. It also can be where you feel like you've been manipulated. Now, again, Aries, I'm sorry to challenge you. If you don't want to take my advice, then that's fine. But our assumptions manifest. So we might have a story where we get manipulated or whatever. And then that's the version of the person that has to show up. It will make sense if you look into, if you go and look into some of the material online. But either way, there seems to be stress. You, you don't feel like this has reached the full potential and there has been anxiety. And for some of you, you also feel maybe a bit untrusting of this. As I said, that untrusting the Knight of Cups is in the reverse. So you feel like Knight of Cups in reverse, you might feel like what this person was offering you is insincere. But then we've got Eight of Cups in the reverse. So this is like maybe you haven't fully moved on. Maybe you're also hoping for the return. Eight of Cups in the reverse, okay? And then we've got Two of Swords. So this person, you're at a stalemate and there has been this sense of indecision or someone not choosing or things being very stuck. And then this person has two of swords in the reverse, like they wanna come unstuck. We've got Knight of Wands. So this could have been a stop start situation. Um, you could have passion with this person, but Aries, something here is like testing your, your strength. This also could be a bit of a challenge to, um, you know, your own strength, your personal strength, because there's something coming up here, like I said, around like maybe some wounding or, you know, um, something here has made you maybe look at something that you want to revise within yourself, okay? Um, yeah, because Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So you both have, from two different decks, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's been a, a stop, no effort now being put in and a stop to movement and then the moon right after that, guys. So from a different deck and that's upright. So it's all due to a lot of maybe fears, um, that have manifested, shadow stuff that then has, has manifested or, um, you know, just lack of clarity and, um, or for some of you, yes, there's been deception. Okay, I will get the um, Oracle cards um, to get some more details, but yeah. So you kind of um, both at a stalemate Aries. And if it's not your reading, it's not your reading. So guys, please don't write in the comments, oh, why are you reading about this person? I don't want them then. I don't know why you're watching me. Um, and like I said, there's, if you want to shift things, you can shift things, right? So 
let's see. Yeah, the devil card, but it's in the reverse. There's been like, you felt maybe very bound to this. You also might feel that there's a strong attraction here, but maybe you've been feeling that it isn't healthy for you or there's been toxicity that's played into it. So part of you is maybe wanting to release yourself. I mean, again, Aries, it's also, you know, with the shadow side, it's our own shadow side. It came right after the moon. So um, this is about maybe resolving our own um, fears, insecurities, etc. Now, I'm not telling you you have to take anyone shitty, but if something's being reflected back to you to, to look at, like, you know, um, a self-concept issue or a wound, right? Like that's maybe where the strength card is. It's like testing your strength to look at that and what you want to release. So what are your limiting beliefs about yourself or your self-worth issues, right? Because that's what then is manifested on the outside. Um, but yeah, the devil card, Capricorn energy and, um, Leo with the strength card. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, Aries, it seems to be that there's, there's a bit of a stalemate, um, and you have been maybe holding on to this, but it's also like, you want to release yourself. I don't know. Let me get some of the, uh, Oracle cards. So what's this person's plan now? Or can we get some context on this situation? Friends. I did say that maybe it's like friends have played into this three of cups, you know, um, and there's been questions around loyalty because I just saw loyal um, third party. So friends or third parties or some of you romantic, some of you not, some of you, it's just been more um, a lot of fear around that. Um, that's caused reactivity or jealousy issues, interference, cheating, competition, it says. Okay, so date anniversary meetup. So what is this person hoping for? It says between the lines, ex-lover. So this is sort of like a past or an ex or something. I did say to you that there's sort of like a stalemate um, between the lines. I mean, some of you, there's, there's exes that are in the mix that might've also caused um, a block or there's old energy that's playing into this situation that's caused a lot of confusion, um, you know, but then I've got spiritual awakening, enlightenment, life lessons, epiphany, rebirth. So this person has the ace of cups. So there's potential here for a rebirth, you know, um, but between the lines, it feels all very vague. That's that two of swords energy, but they could be wanting to have a date or meet up with you. What do they want now as we move through February? Heartbreak, there's, there's heartbreak here. So they want to resolve the heartbreak. Hurt, betrayal, grief, disappointment, um, regret, mistake, guilt, wrong choice, apology. So they could want to have, a, you know, an opportunity to renew this. Um, either they're hoping for an apology or you're hoping for an apology or both of you are hoping for an apology. Um, travel. This says boundaries. So for some of you, there's been a lot of, uh, there's been a block or a boundary. This also says distance, far apart, getaway. Maybe for some of you, there's a wanting to take a trip or you are at a distance. They want to meet up. There's fear. I said fears a few times. Afraid, uneasy, suspicion, scared. So there's different ways to read into this area. There's what's going on in the day to day. And then there's what led to the manifestation of this version of the connection, guys. And ultimately, it's all the outsider reflection of our subconscious beliefs and assumptions, right? So again, guys, I'm not telling you to take anyone that you don't want. Um, if anything, if you don't want it, you can move forward and move on, um, but we don't need to blame the situation. We need to look at what's been revealed to us and it leads us into um, a better space and we can manifest more of what we really want but from a new level of confidence. Strength card is about confidence, okay? Um, yeah, Aries, I'll just grab you a romance angel. Yeah, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together after separation. So interesting with that travel card getaway. So maybe for those of you that want to renew this love, okay, and want to resolve this and take a different approach um, and want to entertain that, there's opportunity here for the renewal of the love. Honeymoon is that kind of that energy. There's definitely been separation. And what else? Love yourself first. Okay, Aries, so it's just reinforcing what I've been saying. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So there could be wounds coming up here um, and it's triggered something, right? And so if you can change the script 
or something within the self-concept, then things can shift quite dramatically or will on the outside, right? Heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Seem to be that there's an opportunity coming in to discuss things um, and renew the love. Again, up to you. Um, what you want to do with it. All right, Aries, um, I hope that that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I'll check in with you guys in two weeks time.